excuse me. Hi, hi. I know this is uh, very, very cheeky, but I love your style. <laughs> Thank you. So I thought you looked very, very cute. Thank you. It's very like much. it's like you're waiting for that compliment, you know. Um, <laughs> that's very sweet. You know, of you. it's all right. It's Thank all right. You. It's all right. It's like you dressed up so hard, and I don't think anyone um, actually gave you a compliment. I've had a few, but you've had a few. Probably my favourite so far. My favourite. So, oh, uh, maybe it's <laughs> coming from me, you know. And I'm special <laughs> well, exactly. now, I'm really jerky. <laughs> no, nice to meet you. What's your nice. name? Um, I'm from West London. West London. You, yeah. you look like you've got the rodeo, rodeo look to you, you know? Rodeo? Yeah, yeah, like a cowgirl kind of look. Thank you very much. It looked much. Quite, quite endearing and a little bit different. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate that. Have a good day though, yeah? You too. Okay, right. How was that one? I thought it was good in, in the sense that I went for it much quicker. Um, I think sometimes there's hesitation where you ha see other people behind the girl and then you think, and, and that's one of the reasons why I think I'm taking a bit longer, but I should just think, fuck it, don't give a shit. Imagine I've got a key or wallet, or imagine if it was my wallet, I'd run, you know, mm. without thinking. So I think I was quite quick to act on that approach. And she Definitely. was quite bubbly. She was open, you know. Uh, I should have kind of pursued that a bit further. 100%. She was very open on that, at least on that approach. So, yeah. yeah, no, 100%. So she gave off that that energy and, she, and that openness to quite easily having a conversation with you. In, yeah. my, in my opinion, just from the experience that I've seen over the years, she was open uh, to exploring a, a chat with you. Yeah. So it was a shame that essentially you had kind of ejected yourself yes. out of that conversation. Yeah. Um, that was definitely, I thought, your best so far. Um, yeah. Absolutely, you went in nice and quick. You made the decision. Yeah. Even the stop as well, the delivery with the opener yeah. was great. And I don't know if you noticed, but on that, actually, you did ask her, like, you know, what are you up to? You, yeah, yeah. you just asked her a very normal conversation. Yes, I did, yeah. Um, and she was open to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think the only thing that, that caused you the struggle there was, again, the assumption stacking. Yeah. That you tried to make more guesses when all you needed to do was just say, like, what are you up to today? Yeah. Or what's the occasion? Okay. Or something. Yeah. Simple questions. Simple questions, yeah. Um, and I think that's where you kind of had that hiccup that you you were trying to find more things to talk about with her fashion or with how she looked. Yes. But you were, you can kind of get the sense that you were running out of steam, that you were running out of ideas. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, that yeah, moment. yeah. Okay, okay. So just ask him simply, what are you up to today? What's the, what's the occasion? Yeah. yeah. Um, or what are you doing in London? All that stuff. Absolutely yeah, yeah. fine. Like, yeah. you don't have to, you're not having like a proper philosophical conversation yeah, no, with people. Yeah, of course. People. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. and you're certainly not like doing like either the um, uh, private investigator or journalism or interview thing on yes. the street. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh, what are you up to? What are you up to? You know, yeah. and you also give her the opportunity to ask you stuff as well. And I mean, who knows what the situation was. She might have said, that, oh, I'm actually just walking around aimlessly. I'm just exploring London then you could have asked her questions about it. So, yeah. what are you going to go and have a look at next? Or, you know, what are you, what are you doing now? Or, you know, where have you been already? Exactly. Um, but whatever the conversation would have been, I genuinely think, like, if you'd have said to her, well, look, I'm in a rush. I'm going to go and catch up with a friend. I'd love to take you out sometime. I, I think she probably would have yeah. said, absolutely, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. She just had that kind of openness she had to a, her yeah, she had that openness. I've just seen in so many conversations with people that I think she would have just been open to sure. giving you the number and probably gone on a date. Um, you know, I mean, she was so much warmer than I think all of the other approaches yeah. that, that you did anyway as well. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, that, that, I mean, really, yeah, those, those are kind of all the points that, um, yeah. Uh, ask her really what she's up to. Have more of a simple conversation with her. Yeah. Um, definitely, yeah, she would have given you the number. Um, she was open, I think, to a conversation. And yeah, just be wary of, of the stacks yeah. as well. Just simplify it. Just be asking someone a question. And when you've got a topic, then you can do a yes. stack if you want to. Okay. Like, if she'd have said, like, oh, you know, I, I really kind of like um, this sort of, like, goth sort of look, you yeah. know, then you've got something to, to tease her about. Be like, you know, I can probably imagine you at like a rock concert, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you know, dressed like this, or maybe you've got dreadlocks or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, that. Then you can be playful with it, but you need a topic to be able to riff on. Sure, yeah. To be able to create an assumption stack. Otherwise, you're like just guessing. And she was already hooked. Yeah, sure. You know, yeah. if we're, we're going to kind of follow even the concept with the Day Game Blueprint, 
you know, she was already hooked. Okay. So the assumption stacks weren't, were no longer necessary at that yes. point. Yes. Okay. The stacks are, are necessary if you haven't got the hook. Yeah. And you're trying to find a topic of conversation for you both to talk about. I understand, yeah. But she was just she was hooked. Yeah. She, was just hooked. she was open to chatting. You could have then just literally gone to, how's your day going? Or what are you up to today? Or what are you doing in London? Yeah. And, and I think you could have just enough, had a very yeah. normal conversation yeah. with her. And it wouldn't have had to have been anything special as well. But then she would have said, like, oh, what are you up to today? Yeah, yeah. Or what are you doing? Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And it would have just gone on like that. Um, but no, I thought that one was good. What uh, do you think I can do, sorry, yeah, in terms of if I'm ejecting from sets too early? What kind of, what thing do you think I should, I should do? Um, I, don't, I think it's a self-defeating mechanism sometimes. I, well, let me, I think a better question is what caused you to eject from that conversation? Um, I felt I was running out of things to say. Yeah. Um, so it's just... Which I is thought, crazy, yeah, considering yeah. you literally just started chatting with yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you've already come to the conclusion of, hang on a minute, I've started a conversation. All I've done is given her a compliment, and now I've oh, No, 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 it. it's silly, silly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just continuing that. Yeah. yeah. But that, again, that's just what happens when you try and guess something when you have no idea When you have no it. idea. That's where you ask the questions. Yeah. And, and until that. she says yeah. something, then you've got something to go on. I got you, I got you. Um, yeah, it's like if we were talking about... A movie. Yeah. Well, let, let's say you, you, know, you, you, you have no idea what kind of genres I, I like yeah. movie-wise. You might look at me and go like, oh, well, you look like you like your horrors. Horrors, okay. Yeah. And then I might say like, no, I'm not really into my horrors. Oh, but yeah, you look like though that, you know, if you probably <laughs> had like a serial killer coming after you, you'd be like running for the other. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're still trying to like get the assumptions. Throw stuff out, yeah. Whereas you could just literally say, oh, what, what kind of movie genres do you like? Oh, I really like my um, my action comedies. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could see you. Pro- I bet you probably enjoy these kind of movies. Or I bet your your favourite actors is this and this. Yeah. Oh yeah. How did you know? And then and then we've got a conversation going yeah. because you've got now again ammunition of stuff to talk about and to riff on. Yeah. Um, and to improv on. Um, that's that's well. a really good point. So yeah, th- that makes sense. Though, yeah. No, that so, makes a lot of sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Just ask a question and then riff off that. In terms yeah, because no, there's no point guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're better just to literally ask a question, and also it shows more genuine curiosity in someone. Um, you know, you can uh, on one hand you can be paid. Let's say like job wise, you can say, like, oh, you know what? I'm going to take a guess at what you do. I'm going to go and go with your style. Absolutely, you can kind of do that. But at the end of the day, you have to still then eventually say to someone, like, oh, what, 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 do, what do you do? 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 Yeah, exactly. What do you do? Um, and then when they say, oh, actually, I, I do this, you'll be like, wow, okay, you know what? I never would have guessed that yeah, yeah. from the way that you dress. Like, so what, what's the reason with you doing that kind of job, but yet you kind of have this very different yeah, style? Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever it is. But, yeah, you, you need that topic to you be able to, to expand on okay, it, rather than guessing it. Yeah. So, yeah, go on, headphones on. Excuse me. Hi. I know this is um, very, very cheeky, but uh, I loved your style. Oh, thank you. I thought you looked super cute, you know? Thank you. No, it's all right. I love the whole kind of, it's almost like a Victorian look. Yeah. This is your friend. Yeah. I just, I'll just compliment your friend. She had a lovely style. Thank you. Thank you. You guys thank are almost you. twins. Yeah, almost. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Just the height difference. That's all right. Have a good day, though, yeah? Thank, thank you. you. too. I appreciate it. It's all right. Okay, right. that's, that's a that? very interesting one. I, I don't think uh, I did the approach correctly, but I think she, she was somewhat interested the way she pivoted mm-hmm. around. She kind of did a kind of a, a semicircle kind of um, pivot around. Yeah, it was almost like a ballet kind of thing. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was initially going okay, but then obviously the friend came in. But I think I handled it. As, I think you said it, I, yesterday I handled it quite well, but I, th- I think I did because I, I didn't ignore the friend, I didn't shit myself. Which sometimes can happen, right? When you've got yeah. someone co- come in, yeah. I just kind of balanced it in terms of including her in the conversation, and then I thought there's no point carrying it on because the friends are probably going to think less of her, and I just, just just left it at that. Yeah, well, with that, I wouldn't worry too much about like overthinking with the situation. I yeah. thought it was great that you know you you gave the compliment, you acknowledged the friend. Yeah. Um, uh, I thought it was great that you said about with the Victorian fashion thing and she loved, she loved that yeah and yeah because yeah. that that was a very specific compliment that was yeah she had that kind of ruffles around yeah, her, yeah so, that, so yeah. That, that that's kind of what i was saying on like some of the earlier videos yeah. like you gave a very you know when you can give a very genuine compliment a very specific like yeah. saying to someone like their fashion is great 
is kind of surface level. Yes. What about their fashion? Do you read that? And the fact that you pointed out the Victorian look or the goth look, whatever. Yeah. She liked that. Yeah, she did, yeah. And she appreciated that. And actually, that was, I think, really why, you know, she had that little twirl and, and stop yes. to talk yeah. to you. And then the friend kind of caught up. Yeah. And easy thing to have, like, if you were to have chosen to have carried on that conversation, I would say, oh, what are you both up to today? What, what's, what's the plan? You know, again, simple conversation, just asking her just yeah. very simple stuff. Um, but to be honest, if it was a case that you would have pursued the number, it would have, you would have just been very quick with it. Several so, well, yeah. ladies, I can see you, you're both spending time together. I love the fact that you're, you know, you're both close friends. Yeah. Or you could have even pointed out, like, I can tell you're both friends because you're both dressed the exact same. Are you both sisters? Or what's yeah, 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 you, you could know. have elaborated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, that's, the, that's where you can have the playfulness with sure. that. But even then, just saying that... I, I can see you both spending time together. Uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time. But yes. You know what? I thought you were really cute. I'd love to take you out sometime. You know, let me ask, are you single? Um, you know, usually you could have said yes, no, whatever. Yeah. And say, well, look, can I take you out sometime? Take you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even then, if there's a bit of hesitation, you can say, even turn to the friend, like, I hope it's okay that I sort of see them. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite a good line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's, it just... Included. I think it eases the situation yeah. uh, a little bit. It's, it's a very smooth and shrewd way, I think, to, to handle yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, getting the acknowledgement from the friend, if the friend likes you, then you, you've got you like, the, the, the big <laughs> tick, yes. you know, really with that. But other than that, I, I thought absolutely fine. There was only so much you were going to do with yeah. that. So, uh, last one. Final one. I'll put the headphones on. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I, I, I know this is very, very cheeky, but I love your style. Oh. I, I had to come over and say hello. Oh, thank you. I love the whole kind of uh, mix of colours you got going on. Oh, thank you very much. You know? That's nice of you. It's all right. You know, you can't, it's, it's blue, red. You know, you look like a rainbow, you know? Oh, yeah, no, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I was just out like a shoot, so... You were what, sorry? I was just out like a shoot, so I'm oh. just like, um, like heading... Okay, I'm okay. Back now, so. you're, you're heading back, yeah? It yeah. looks like you looted everything, you know? Oh, yeah, we've yeah, got like, yeah. everything on. You've got everything on you, every single colour. So <laughs> if, I, if I'm feeling something, I'll come to you, you know, with, with, with the colours. <laughs> colours, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, thank you. No worries, nice to meet you. Where, where are you from? I had to genuinely ask because I couldn't tell where your accent was from. Oh yeah, like no one it, knows. It gives you like kind of a little bit of a mystique, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, well, where's this girl from? You know, with the crazy hair. I was like, I genuinely had no idea you were from Leeds. I have a friend in Leeds who does bodybuilding, and he has like a very strong kind of southern, not southern, but kind of that Leeds Yorkshire accent, right? Oh really? I know yeah, quite yeah. a lot of people in Leeds. You do, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, do, do you like who's your friend or? Uh, there's a there's a guy I know, James, but he's based in London now. So. Oh, friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, it sounds like you know the whole town. Oh yeah, I do. Well, I know a lot of people, but I actually need to go. So. Okay, no worries. Look, have yeah. a good day. Yeah. Yeah, you too. How was um, that last one? Yeah, I think once again I took far too long. Yeah. You know? And I think we were both smirking <laughs> how long I was taking. Um, but that aside, I think she dropped something. So. I wasn't going to approach one once she dropped something. Uh, I think it was a reasonable approach. Um, I did try and implement what you said, but maybe going to the topics that she mentioned, Leeds. I couldn't think of too too many things about Leeds, but yeah. yeah, I think it was just one of those approaches where I didn't feel too much about the girl. But I, it was towards the end of the session. I thought, let me just try and get more approaches in. That was the that was the mindset. But yeah. I think it wasn't perfect. There's obviously room where I can improve.
Yeah, so with that one, um, yeah, again, it was just too many stacks and guesses of things, yeah. um, like pointed out with the colours and stuff. Yeah. Um, like, I, I would have asked, uh, I would again, I would have brought the conversation to something much easier and yeah. much simpler, just asking, like, you know, what was you doing in London? Yeah. Oh, you've come from Leeds? Well, that's quite a journey to come from Leeds. Like, what, what was it oh, boy, that you yeah, got yeah. up to? Yeah. Um, I did have to listen to the, the audio when she said, uh, Hugh, with her accent, it was yeah, different. Yeah, I didn't quite So she was yeah. talking about that kind of, like, diet brand, um, yeah. uh, Hugh, because they yes, do, like, yes, like, yes, yes, like the, do. the shakes and things. So that's what she was talking about. I didn't realise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I did have to listen to it okay. a couple of times until she was like, oh, Hugh. Um, even then with talking about her look I would have said I would have asked her like you look like the sort of girl who's probably into her anime yeah and if she'd have said yes then you've got a conversation about anime or going to like comic con yes, yes, and, yes, and yes, things yes, like that's that a big topic, so yeah. I mean I'm probably maybe a bit more geeky than you well I go okay. to like comic con okay space. sure so I would have then probably have explored that as a conversation okay, with her okay okay and said like oh what kind of anime are you into or do you play computer games or yeah, yeah. you know what's your favourite sort of like stuff and like oh have you ever been to Comic Con yeah yeah and then we would have probably have had like conversations with that yeah um, but I think yeah with again with just the assumption stacking of trying to make guesses or things about with her the colours and stuff like in fact you didn't even ask her like why what, what made you go for blue yes I did yeah, 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 um, yeah so even that would have been a question like what, what drew you to do why, why did you go for blue hair um, or how long have you had that for? What you know? Um, yeah. Are you trying to style after your favourite anime character? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, you know, exactly, exactly. That that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, also just kind of following her maybe a bit too long. I mean, yeah, if she drops something, there's only so much you could have done. Um, but yeah, I, I think just being much quicker with the the stop, uh, especially before it kind of the possibility of it yeah. getting busier and things. Um, and definitely, yeah, just. Just trying to reduce the assumptions. Reduce the uh, I think is probably the main thing there. Um, but you know, from what I could see, really, with all of the video, yeah, that, and that's really kind of all the points with that one. Uh, oh well, yeah, actually, one other thing as well, I was curious about. In some of your videos, you actually were bringing up, you mentioning stories of people that you knew. So I wondered, are they are they actually true stories, like, or were they just they they are, they are true the stories. They okay. are true stories, but I try and improv make stuff up uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's that, about the person but I, the I stories aren't I wasn't true, sure because yeah. especially in that la- in this last one yeah. it kind of almost sounded like you were trying to like pick ideas out of yeah, 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 yeah. like I've got this friend up up in Leeds and, it, and he's kind of like this you know yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah. there was a lot of like yeah. like trying to put it and I thought that that's probably going to be too try hard for you like, okay. like again simplicity is key here sure just asking her uh, like oh like what brought you from Leeds or I've never been to Simple Leeds what's it like yeah, up there yeah, compared yeah. to London yeah. um, you know are there a lot of people with blue hair up in Leeds <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Things, things, like that. things like that you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can even joke and say I'm now imagining like lots of Smurfs Smurfs yeah yeah <laughs> or like Smurfs with a, like a northern accent yeah, or something yeah, 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 yeah. you know and that, <laughs> that would have certainly have like brought a bit of a giggle um, yeah. uh, with that but I mean other than that I mean I don't I don't know where that kind of conversation would have led to she said that she was in a rush anyway um, potentially you could have gone for uh, a number but then at the same time as you didn't ask like questions like oh how long are you in London for yes all those do you, are you based here do you live yeah. here or, or do you work here or anything um, you know, not e- being able to not explore those things. I mean, who knows? It would have been. She might have said like, "Oh, oh, actually, I'm only here till tomorrow." Or, yeah, yeah. Or I'm on my way back to the train station now. I'm going to go to King's Cross to go up north. You just, you just don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, those were pretty much all of your videos. Um, I mean, you can kind of see that there were a lot of like overlap of uh, issues, really, yeah. with each one. But. I mean, as the progression of the day went on, I mean, you definitely got got better. Yeah. Um, and certainly some things were, were fixed, um, uh, some things weren't, but yeah. at least now, with the footage, you can kind of, like, recognise that stuff and you can kind of make the appropriate adjustments yeah, 100%. Um, here and there as well. So, I mean, just in summary, I mean, like, yeah, those were the, the main things that I saw was like, yeah, don't, don't get too close to the gun unless you're, you know, at that yeah. last moment just go for it if you're yeah. unsure at least have a good bit of a gap between the two of you so sure. it doesn't feel like you're walking in a shadow yeah um, definitely once you have made that decision approach quicker yeah um, if you can because then you can just rule out the possibility you're going to have to stop her in a crowd yes as yeah. well um, definitely just smile a bit more uh, yeah. remember it it's a, it's a fun thing it's that a you're fun doing thing, yeah, yeah. have fun with it um, otherwise just try and do 
social freedom exercises that just involves you being a bit more altruistic. Yeah. Uh, which I, okay, I didn't mention, but you know, why not have even an afternoon? Just go out, give compliments to people. Yeah. Just try and make people's day. Yeah. Don't even try and go for a number. Don't even try and think about going for a conversation. Okay, sure. And you might even find that suddenly people will want to have a conversation. Okay, all right, yeah. Because you weren't looking for it. Yeah, yeah. And you were just trying to make people's day. Even like buying people like coffees on the street. Yeah, might, might, might be worth it. Just do it. Yeah, why not? Or, you know, a lot of people say that you look amazing. Or one exercise that I really like is um, when you go out to give people compliments, you can't use the same compliment twice. Okay, all right. So it just works on your improv. And also, you can also do another exercise similar where you have to up the compliment. Yeah. So the first one you might say, oh, you look really nice. And the next one might be, you look really great. The next one might be, you look amazing. Yeah. Wow, you look awesome today. Yeah. My God, you look epic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You look, you look really yeah, legendary. Yeah, yeah, exactly, My exactly, goodness. Exactly. You know, exactly. And, and Changes, up the energy yeah. with it. Yeah. And it's just more to get you to play with your creativity and your fun side. It's okay. not necessarily to try and get you results with that. Yeah. But it's just to get your body to understand and feel like what it's like when you've got a different kind of energy or a different kind of playfulness. I've got you. And you'll also just see how people react to you with that as well. And you might find you might get some very great responses. Okay. So many years ago when I worked in retail, I used that exercise. Okay. And uh, I used to be what was called a greeter at the front door. So when okay. people walked into the shop, yep. I used to say like, you know, good afternoon and stuff. Yeah. So I used, the, I used that exercise. I called it like the epic um, uh, challenge. Okay. Where literally when people walked in, I would compliment something about them yeah. and say that they looked epic. Okay, right. Uh, okay. And I used to have a bit more of a beard as well. So if a guy walked in and he had a beard, I'd say that is one epic beard, sir. Biggest smile on his face. Thank you very much, mate. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, smile, yeah. And if women walked in, I'd say, those are some very epic shoes you're wearing, madam. Massive smile. Oh, you look epic today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really love this epic style you've got. I yeah, love yeah. the epic dress. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. you look like you've got a busy day planned. You know, all this stuff and it, it changes people's reactions and it changes how you feel about it as well so I think that might make uh, that'd be a good exercise yeah. for you okay. to just try on your own um, definitely less assumptions yeah. um, more simple conversations how's your day going what are you up to yeah. what's the plan in London today yeah. very simple things just to give you topics to be able to then have actual conversations on. I got you and yeah. then from that you can make some guesses and you can make some assumptions. Yep. Um, also, yep, ask more questions, which is what I essentially just said, which again just will uh, allow her to invest a bit more in the in the chat and hopefully she'll ask you some more questions yes. as well. Yep. And then the last one really is just getting in front more, you know, lifting yep. your hand up a bit more, having that more authority with the stop, just remembering that, you know, if she's dropped a wallet or a keys or something, how would you stop her? Yeah in that circumstance. Other than that, I mean, that's 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 pretty much it. So, great. yeah, I mean, how did you essentially find the experience of that? Yeah, it, it was a great experience, actually. Um, it's a really good experience. Initially, I was a bit hesitant, you know, with, with the camera. Um, and even watching it, the first couple of inputs, I was thinking, you know, do I sound like that? Do, do I stand like that? Yeah. Is that yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? But I think that's natural. But I think, you know, overall, it's been a really good experience. And it's quite insightful um, because, you know, you're looking at it, as you said, from a third person's point of view, you've got someone like yourself, very experienced in terms of doing it. And when you're given quite constructive uh, criticism, which is really helpful, I, yeah. I think and it can go a long way. There's nothing harsh, no, really, absolutely in not, that Absolutely either. not. It's, it's, um, it's honest kind of feedback, uh, but in a nice way at the same time. So it's, yeah. it's, it's that good mix. And the important thing is you'll be able to watch this back. Yeah. And, you know, with, you, I mean, it's, it'd be one thing when you're able to reflect on literally all of this feedback, because uh, it's great that you've taken notes anyway yeah. as well, but you'll be able to sit and watch it, reflect on that feedback, and when you watch it as well, you know, the best critiques are usually ourselves. Yes. So even with me giving all of this feedback, you'll watch it, and you'll, when you go out next, you'll be like, I know exactly what I'm doing right, and I know yeah. exactly what I'm doing wrong. Exactly. And even when the moment you recognize certain behaviors or mannerisms that you do, you will pick up on that and you'll instantly change it. Yes. And you will find over the coming weeks that will most likely change and you'll probably get very different results. You'll probably okay. get better results. Or, yeah. or, or, or touch when you will actually yeah, get better Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, um, 
So no, I'm glad that you um, you came forward with this. Um, I mean, these are uh, these are very easy fixes. Yeah. You know, and I think even yesterday I'd said to you, like, you know, it's only like a slight degree, usually that people have to change, and suddenly they get good. Like you, you did mention that, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, and yeah. and I genuinely believe that there's nothing here that I can see that you can't easily fixed in probably like a couple of sessions with going out yeah sure. you know and there'll always be like new hurdles and things to come across yeah, you course. might go like right well i've now fixed the approach and i fixed this and that oh but i'm struggling with the conversation thing like oh what can i do next how can i work on my creativity how can i work on flirting more yeah. or how can i work on asking for the number differently and stuff yeah but those are healthy hurdles to have sure you know and the idea is that you are trying to essentially have a nice smooth run throughout the whole process. It, unfortunately, it will never be that case. Even course, dating yeah. coaches will always come across situations, um, so you can never predict how a conversation is going to go. But you can be more prepared for it. Sure, sure. And um, and I think yeah, I think with these changes, you'll you'll be absolutely fine with that. Perfect. Um, so what will be interesting is in a couple of weeks you'll have to let me know how yes, things absolutely. are for you. We'll definitely have kind of a catch up or just. Stay in touch here, yeah, 100%. A- absolutely, because yeah. it, it'd be really interesting for me to also just hear, especially just someone who does it on their own, yeah. um, how you get on yeah. with you know working on, on those changes or working with that feedback. Could I ask, um, would, you, would you suggest focusing on one aspect each time you go out and perfecting it? Entirely up to you. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, you know these are all the changes that you need to make. I know that, yeah. If you can do it all in one go or at a time, do it. Sure. If you want to work on one at a time, that is absolutely okay too. Okay, okay. Um, some people can only do it that way. Some people can do it all in one go. Yeah. Um, entirely up it to you. It um, you know, I mean, I've seen how you approach, but it's how you do it on your own. Yeah, what absolutely. What are you comfortable with, yeah, yeah. Uh, with doing with that? Um, but I mean, other than that, give it a couple of weeks, implement these, yeah. and I think, yeah, you will very slowly but surely notice some differences um, with your results but these are very simple tweets sure, uh, sure, I think sure. to make um, but yeah but I mean other than that I mean, have you got any like further questions really on, um, on I, I would say I think we've touched upon it but, uh, but it's you, an overwhelming amount yeah. to be fair it's, so. the, no I was actually quite surprised I did 18 so <laughs> that's quite surprising so now I was going to say is there a sweet spot in terms of a uh, number of approaches I know, I know we we, we went over this previously but would you say that there's a number in terms of oh, I'm going out three four times a week not really I, I think for me it's about having more quality conversations quality conversations okay even if you have like if you're going out three times yeah. uh, a week even if you had at the minimum one quality conversation on yeah. each of those occasions that's fine okay also recognising that point where you're burning out yes of course yeah. it's okay to say you know what I'm done for the day there's no point trying to force yourself if you're not feeling it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I think it's a very different scenario with coaches. I know some coaches, they're like, oh, you know what, if you're, not, if you're feeling shit, like, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's easier said than done, I think, for guys. You know, and some of these coaches, they, they live and breathe this. I understand that. Yeah. Normal guys don't. Yes, yes. So you have to kind of also just be your own judge. If you're out for four hours, let's say, if you feel like a burnout after two hours, have a break, see where you're at. If you want to carry on, going. carry on. Yeah. If you don't, that's fine. Okay. Go, carry on, do, do normal things. But yeah, just try more and consider more quality over quantity. Quality over quantity, yeah. If you have a couple of good interactions in your life, this is great, I'm yeah. happy with this, call it a day. Okay. Absolutely fine. Sure. Um, but the important thing really is to just be implementing this in your normal everyday life. Yes. If you're on your way back and forth to work or going and buying food I or think going to the yeah. gym or something yeah. or if you're going to do your dance classes yeah, yeah. Um, or uh, the public speaking. Yes. On your way. There'll always be people There's there always to talk people. To. 100% I agree. I agree. Um, and those are your opportunities. So okay. if you're going out for an actual session see how you go. Yeah. But you're in a really fantastic situation where you're you're comfortable with approaching on your own. So yes, just, I am. Just yeah. do it when you see someone. Yeah, absolutely, life. absolutely. And then you know, some weeks it might you might approach five people. Some weeks it might be twenty. It might be very. It, it yeah. doesn't really matter. Yeah. But just having good quality conversations, not putting that much pressure on yourself, yeah. and just remembering. Simple. Simple. Keep it simple. Just As you keeping said. keeping it simple. Don't it worry simple, about yeah. the stacks um, yeah. if you can. There's no point like trying to pick stuff out. Let people say stuff 
and then you can make guesses. No, no, no. Um, agree. Or agree. then you can ask questions and let and explore that with them. But it's more about just having genuine curiosity with yeah. people. I yeah. think is the the main thing, and that's the one thing that I think a lot of guys struggle with. Um, but other than that, no, I'm I'm really pleased. So I think guys, we'll we'll wrap the video there. Yep. Valau has been very kind to. You know, put himself online uh, and, and share you know, his experience of working with me and also how he is when he's out approaching on his, on his own. Uh, and guys, as well, this is something that I would love to try and do more regularly um, and actually, again, fill this YouTube channel with content more about you guys rather than me. So if you are willing to be a guinea pig, just like Bilal was, I was. <laughs> for, this, uh, for this series, um, by all means do reach out to me. I'd love to have a chat with you to, uh, to put more content on this channel that is just going to genuinely help more guys get comfortable with approaching. Uh, but other than that, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. This has obviously been Bilal as well. And uh, again, thank you so much for no problem, coming no. forward no problem, for it. Right. And, um, and hopefully I look forward to hearing from you guys as well in the near future. Take care. Great.